What's up guys? Today's video, we have got Daniel here. Daniel, what's up, man? Doing good, how are you doing? I'm good. So Daniel, what do you do here? Well, I am the guy behind the camera. I do a lot of the, the video, videography and video editing and stuff. Right. So Daniel had a great idea. What he did was he went onto our knife making uh, webpage where you can buy all sorts of materials to build your own knife. Now, he has shot some amazing footage of him taking those materials and turning it into a knife. So let's watch that right now. Hey guys, welcome to my garage, I mean, workshop. And today, as promised, we will be making the Dark Ranger Swamp Bowie. I was perusing the Blade HQ website and I came across this. So this is a pin from Talon that has a frog silhouette. So what kind of a knife would go with the frog silhouette? It was none other than the eight inch Ranger Bowie from Talon but it needed just a little bit more to make it a swamp bowie. And so, boom, these are the caged crypto handles from Voodoo Resin. These things are so sweet. It's got that honeycomb pattern in there with green resin scales. And so, let's run over to my workbench right there and I'm gonna run through my plan with you. All right, now really quick before we head over there, I just wanted to talk about safety. Your number one concern, regardless of what you're working on, should always be safety. But especially with doing stuff like knife making where there's metal dust, nauseous fumes, gases, stuff like that, it is so important to be as safe as you possibly can. And so please, if you decide to, that you wanna take that jump into knife maker, make sure the first things you get are safety equipment. All right guys, so this is what we have. We have the knife, we've got the handle material, we've got the brass guard, which is super cool. We've got the pin with that cool frog silhouette. I love that. And then I've also got some other tools up here, like some measuring tools, some files, a drill bit to drill the hole for the pin. We've got some epoxy, a two by four uh, clamp here. And we've got my notebook just with some ideas that I've got, because I've really been trying to think of what can I do to make this my own. Now, you may have noticed a problem here. So what I need to do is drill these holes a little bit bigger with this drill bit, but that runs us into a problem with hardness. Yeah. All right. See, normally you want your knife to be hardened, and what's awesome is Talon gives this to you hardened and sharpened. And hardening the blade is how it keeps an edge lasts you a long time, doesn't bend, things like that. But the problem with having it be hard is that I wanna make some changes to this. I wanna make the Dark Ranger Swamp Bowie. And so what I need to do is anneal this. I need to soften it in my forge so that I can get this drill bit through here. Just gonna use some paper and a match and get it lit. All right, so as you guys just saw, we got it up to temperature. I mostly focused on the tang because I wanted to make sure that that got really soft. But once it got up to temperature, we let it cool down. And so I've got a couple of ideas here. What I found was a pattern called S pattern file work, which is like this one. And I think that I'm gonna go with the S pattern, mostly because it's a swamp bowie, so an S pattern sounds good, right? And so, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go with this S pattern. Once it's cooled off, I'm gonna file that in. But I also, what I need to do, I'm gonna drill a couple of holes. Three hours later. Boom. There we go.
Now that I have these holes drilled in, I'm going to clamp it in the vise here and I am going to start scribing out some lines for the file work that I want to do. Five minutes later. So right here. Approximately 10 hours later. Now we gotta get ready for the fire. All right, so now we've got our Bowie. It has been heat treated, it's hard. I don't know if you can hear that. Can you see that file work on the spine there? That's so cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start grinding. I'm gonna grind and finish this blade and then we're gonna put handle scales on. Now, to be honest, this is the most tedious part of the process. The car is coming. Can't you see I'm shooting here? No, they can't, of course they can't. It's fine, it's fine. Um, now, to be honest, this is the most tedious part of the project is just the hours of grinding and finishing work, hand sanding, all that stuff. But to be honest, it's part of the process. And all of these pieces come together and make one finished work that hopefully you're proud of. So I'm gonna get started grinding on this. We're gonna put the handle scales on and then we'll have a finished blade. All right guys, now I'm done sanding the Dark Ranger Swamp Bowie. My only thing was, is I drilled the holes before really testing out the guard. And that was my down, I should have tested the guard. And so with the guard on, there's actually just a little bit of a gap right there. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to use this piece of leather, use that as a spacer for the guard. You know, you adapt, you overcome, you conquer, but now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make it the Dark Ranger Bowie. And the way we're gonna do that is with apple cider vinegar. So this is some apple cider vinegar that I have boiled. Getting everything all nice and cleaned off. All right, now we're gonna dunk it. We're gonna let that sit for a bit and then we're gonna flip it over so that we get the same kind of thing on the handle right here. And this gives us an opportunity to work on other things. All right guys, so this is where we're at and look how far we've come. We have our handle scales shaped, ready to be slapped on. We got pins, we've got our guard, we've got our leather spacer, and we have our newly patinaed knife. Look at that. It's a beaut, I love it. Oh man, that's gonna turn out so good. And look at that with our handle scales, our handle material. Mm. I'm loving it, I'm loving it, and so, the last thing that we're gonna do is just glue it on. I'm gonna take some of our epoxy. I'm gonna, so what I'm gonna do is wipe down the stuff, use some of this epoxy, and get it all glued up and ready to go. Dude, that looks really fun. 
It was so much fun to make. I, I love making knives, of course, but then also having a project like this with like a clear end goal and trying to make it, you know, just something special. Those, those are always fun to do. Oh, you know? heck yeah. I loved watching you uh, go through all the steps and those mosaic, the mosaic pin. Oh, That's super those. cool. Okay, so uh, you were just talking about how it's a learning experience. So tell me a little bit about the things that you learn each time you do a project like that. You know, every every project has it has its challenges. You'll see like there's a bunch of shows on YouTube and stuff where you watch these guys and they make something and it's beautiful. And you always sit there and you're like, oh man, I wish I could make something like that. I'm not quite there yet. I I, I feel like I'm I'm starting to make stuff I'm a little bit more proud of. Yeah. But it's every time you make something you just get that little bit better, you try something new, like this one, I had never fit up a guard like this before. Yeah. And I also just had one set of the scales, and so when I had messed up the grind a little bit and had to put that leather spacer there, it was right. like, oh, okay, adapt, conquer, overcome, right. make, make these changes, and hopefully, you know, make something that still looks good, even though there were maybe some issues that you had to overcome, you know? So we got it right here. Oh, yeah. Guys, this thing's a beast. You put that in your hand and it just wants to go to work. Dude, in fact, thing. it is so cool that I think we should test that knife. Oh, we totally should test it. I think we should do a test, go out, use it, see what it's capable of. I'm sure yeah. these guys out here would love to see that. Excited to test it and see you know, how well it holds an edge, maybe do some forge and fire kind of tests. You know, right. Something like that would be awesome. So. No, I think it's really cool. Yeah. Um, I've Hold seen on. you in the office rip through paper on this like it's no big deal. Oh, yeah. Sheets and sheets and sheets, and it just tears it up so nice. I, I have a problem. I'll, it, it's addicting to cut through paper with, with something sharp. I don't <laughs> recommend trying it at home or else you'll just make a mess. It's gonna yeah. be terrible. <laughs> don't make a mess. Guys, let us know down in the comments if you guys want to see us testing Daniel's homemade DIY knife. What do you guys want to do? And also, if you guys like this video and you want to see some more how-to DIY projects, let us know in the comments down below. And Daniel, we'll catch him on the next time. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was so much fun to make the Dark Ranger Swamp Bowie. If you like this video, you'll also like our other ones. Over to the left here, we have a couple playlists, as well as links to our website so that you can go pick up your own knife making kit or any other knives on our website. Go check it out, and we'll catch you on the next one.